is Damian McNamara with Global Medical News Network and I'm at the Alabama Dermatology Society Summer Symposium in Destin, Florida. And with me is Dr. Christopher Miller of the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Now at this meeting you talked about uh, management of thin melanomas and this is a controversial area even for dermatologists. Can you tell me why? The treatment for thin melanoma is pretty straightforward. Uh, the treatment is to excise it. But there are two areas that are really controversial with thin melanomas. One is the method that you're going to use to examine the edges under the microscope. And second is whether or not you should do a sentinel lymph node biopsy. For patients who have a thin melanoma but some other factors under the microscope that indicate there's a higher risk for the melanoma to have metastasized. So when you're trying to decide how you're going to examine the, the edges under the microscope, you're really deciding between two basic areas. One is, are you going to do a standard technique where you bread loaf the tissue and examine just a small portion of the margin to test whether or not it's all out, versus a technique that will examine 100 percent of the edges under the microscope either Mohs surgery using frozen sections or what some people call staged excision or slow Mohs where you still examine 100 percent of the edges under the microscope but instead of doing it with frozen sections you use permanent sections and have a pathologist read it rather than reading it yourself as the Mohs surgeon. That's controversial because not everybody agrees that you can read Mohs sections uh, for melanoma using frozen sections. And then sentinel lymph node biopsy is controversial because the data haven't proven first that in patients with thin melanoma the a positive sentinel lymph node biopsy definitely indicates a worse prognosis. It's confusing because most patients who have a positive sentinel lymph node biopsy and a thin melanoma have micrometastasis, just a few cells. It's usually not a big burden of tumor in the lymph node. And that doesn't always mean that the, the presence of those few cells doesn't always mean that the patient's going to have a worse outcome. But the difficulty is, is that there isn't a distinction in what to do if that lymph node is positive, whether it's four lymph nodes in the chain versus just a few cells. The standard of care currently is to remove all of the lymph nodes in that basin. So if you have a sentinel lymph node biopsy in the axilla that shows a few cells, the standard of care right now is to remove all of the lymph nodes in that group. And there's the associated morbidity for the patient is the, the other side of that, right? That's right. The okay. sentinel lymph node biopsy itself has a relatively low morbidity associated with it but a complete lymph node dissection has a much higher rate of morbidity. And some of those, um, some of the side effects from a complete lymph node dissection can be permanent. This has been Damian McNamara, Global Medical News Network.